We're back. So this so is episode two. We're back with our video podcast. Yes. We were scrolling on Reddit. We saw a topic about building a man. Yeah. And it led to us talking about like our relationship. And saying like, does it even make sense for a woman to attempt this? Is this something that should be done? Should right. you, is there an age limit? Like, what yes. is it to it? Yeah, what is it to it? I think for us, it's really interesting because when we talk about this, we started when we were 18, 19. Yeah, we got out the mud. Yeah. <laughs> so I know for us, we typically say that I wouldn't say like I, I built Maurice. I would never say that. I feel like we I grew up together. We grew up together and so, I aided yeah. in his. In my decisioning for where I was going to possibly get. It isn't like I came in, like we were like, I was nothing and she was something. Right. <laughs> More right. So we, well, I was on my path of growth and pretty much I could have made decisions to get somewhere else, but I, she helped me make decisions to get to a better place. Yes, I helped align. So, yeah. But it's funny because when you talk about building a man, a lot of people were like, don't do it because as soon as you build him up, he's going to leave Maybe. you for the next girl that, you know. Well, that, he didn't like you really, I guess. <laughs> That part. You might have had to do something about that relationship from the start. That part. Okay, that's a hot take. Because a lot of, and I also think it's like, it depends on what age you meet the man. Like, if I met Maurice now at 32, there's no building. Yeah. Like, we both have to be already established and come, come together. You something to the table. Exactly. You can't just come and have it, expect me to, like, take care of you at this age. We're yeah. Too old for that. We're too old for that. But because we started so young, it made more sense to grow together and then, like, like I said, help aid his path yeah. and direction. Said, we did come from two totally different backgrounds. We came too, so from it's like totally different it's backgrounds. Like night and day, to be honest with you. I won't say she built me, but I definitely stepped up my level of life from where I was to a different tier of life. I guess you would say class of people. But I also being around her. And I also feel like you opened up your eyes more to like what the world has yeah, like were, to offer. Yeah, because there were things that like just didn't exist to yeah. me. Like literally, I didn't even like think about or really know about like college or the difference between university and community college. Yeah. Like, and then in school, I was just like, you have to complete college. I was like, there's no us if you don't complete college. Because there was a time where he was thinking about not completing it. I wasn't even planning on going. My teacher is the reason I went to college. She yeah. did my essay and everything, applied and all like. Right. So <laughs> you, yeah, so Reese has good woman. <laughs> I've helped. I've had a lot of good women help me in my life. <laughs> and then, like, while he was in it, there was a time when he was not about to complete or not yeah. about to continue. And I'm just like, I literally had to give him the ultimatum. I was like, mm. it's either you finish school or we're done. I was not, literally. And you know what he did? He worked his ass I, off it, to it finish was a fight. school. It was a fight, but and, I did it. And that really showed me that he was really into this. I was here for her. He was here for me in this relationship. Wasn't letting this go. Yep. And, Hell no. And it's funny because a lot of people also talk about don't fall in love with potential. And I feel like, but I she definitely fell in love with potential. <laughs> and she she liked the way I looked too. Yeah. It was like the way I looked and what she thought I could be. Right. All in one. Right. So. I was, yeah, yeah. I did fall in love with potential. So don't take advice from me. <laughs> Cause that, I said, don't we work it out? But it worked out for me. She got lucky. I'm a good guy. I got lucky. And I feel like I, I, yeah, I got like that rare situation. Yeah. Because everything I'm telling you guys right now about our situation, most people will tell you not to do. Yeah. I, I don't even tell you not to do it. Most, <laughs> <laughs> most dudes are like use and abuse a girl in a situation I like take care and hold it down the way she held me down. Like there was a lot of things. Yeah. Like, I was struggling in some moments throughout our relationship, like two years. It wasn't like this in the beginning. It ain't like she just like found me off the street or something. Like I had my downs, I had my ups and whatever while I was in college, like we all do. And like there was moments she held me down when I didn't have the way to do it. So Yeah. It's crazy. Got you. I know you do, boo. <laughs> so that's a little bit about us. Well, definitely like in other episodes will go more into us, but now I want to read what we saw from Maurice found this one. So every episode... Yeah. One of us is going to find like the Reddit article that kind of relates to our topic of the day. Maurice on this one. So I have not heard anything about it yet. It's my, going to be my first time hearing it with you I guys. I didn't read it either. Okay. So Maurice didn't even read it either. Not, so it's going to be, he found it, but it's going to be our first time yeah. going through it. So let's see how this goes. Me, 21, and my boyfriend, 22. We broke up last week and I don't even want to exist anymore. I feel oh, betrayed. Jesus. 
We were together for two and a half years and we went through so much together. But in the end, I feel like he left because he felt like he's outgrown me and better than me now. Ooh. Damn, and you don't want to live anymore, girl. If you don't. Man, if you don't keep it right. moving. If you don't keep it moving. It's more efficient than see. You heard that before. Right. You're 21 and you don't want to live anymore because your man left you. It is messed up because this is literally what we're just talking about. How you build a man and sometimes he leaves. I mean, but let's let's but girl, let's see, yeah, let's see, you know, let's see what else you're gonna say, girl. When we met, we were both broke and still finding our ways in life. We also weren't exactly in the best place mentally either, but we were instantly best friends. And I've never loved somebody so much in my entire life. I was at a point where I felt totally lost in life and feeling anxiety about my future. I ended up finding my happiness in him for almost the entire relationship. We never had a single serious fight. Well, I will say the first two years, this is what I tell everybody. The first two years of your relationship. We're going to call that puppy love. It's puppy love. Puppy love. So you'll never fight. We never fought the first two years of our relationship. Uh, God, the best two years of my life. <laughs> best two years of my life. <laughs> if I can go back to 2010. Shut bro, up. Wow, we old for me to be saying it like that too. Yeah, because <laughs> we've been together like for 2010. 13 years. 13 years. It's Mary 3. Mary 3. And we'll get into that too in another episode. Yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> no, yeah, like the first two years, this is what I tell everybody. The first two years is puppy love. So nothing is going to go wrong in the first two years. Once you start crossing over, you heard when he said two and a half years. They've been together for two and a half years. So once you cross over that two-year mark, that's when you get to really see the person for who they are. And that's how that start when you start to realize if you both are in this relationship, like for each other, you start to not be blinded anymore by the love and the lust that you first had. The first two years are blissful. If you can pass those two years, then I have high hopes for your relationship. Yeah, I agree with everything she just said. Yeah. Can I proceed, baby? Yes, proceed, baby. <laughs> I felt like as long as I was there, we were together, we'll always be happy. But I guess that's where I made the mistake. Mm. He was working at Home Depot, but always mm. told me, mm -mm. damn, he just had to say he was at Home Depot. <laughs> Brother can't have a job. He is 21. No. He is still in 22. Mm. He's still in college. Mm -mm. This looks out Home Depot, and he decided to be here ass. 22. Oh, where do you want to work at? Goldman Sachs? <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, okay, continue. I just want to know where he, no shade to the people that work at Home Depot. I'm not trying to draw any shade. But the fact that he just, he probably got a better job when we continue reading. He probably got a better job. Okay. And he's assuming that because she hasn't leveled up. He, he She's not there with him? She Yes, because she hasn't leveled up with him. They can't be all the same level anymore. But like she was with you when you was working at Home Depot. She was with you when you put on that orange apron every day. She was shooting with you in the gym. She was shooting with you in the gym. Okay, okay. please continue. So he was working at Home, Home Depot. Depot. <laughs> but always told me about how he dreamed of being an entrepreneur. Okay. So he could work for himself. Okay. But was too scared of failure to try. Okay. Saying that it would be a big waste of time and money and it was just something I'll never work out. But I encourage him to try. I told him that it's a beautiful and, a, and that's unlike me. He knows what he wants with his life and that he should go for it. When I could tell he was getting burnt out, I would go over to his house. So I guess this is where he was starting to be an entrepreneur or something like that. Okay. He was going through some things. Yeah. I would do a bunch of little things to make him feel happy, leave him notes about how amazing he is and how much I love him. I would cook for him, clean for him, and I would do all the housework and up so he could do the rest. Ladies, ladies. Have you ever heard? Oh, now nah, she did a lot. I would plan and take him on the best dates I could think of mm. on oh. his days off. So he could oh, so hurt it spend the day oh. get happy. My stomach. Now, nah, that's a little crazy. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Because like, you have to have some type of soul and heart into an extent where if a woman's doing all of this for you, it's either you know you love her or not. So you're going to waste her time. But that's, but that's the problem. When you're in a relationship, this is how it's supposed to go. It's either supposed to be equal amounts of love or the man is supposed to love the woman more. If the woman loves the man more, so it's the equal, or the man loves the woman more. If the woman loves the man more, he will take advantage of that stuff. And he will not respect you and treat you the way that you should be treated. And that You're, can also happen the other way around too. Well, the, the thing with the women, woman the women are- If the man loves the woman more. No, well, women time. are natural nurturers and lovers, right? Mm -hmm. So, if a man loves a woman more in a relationship, I feel like women will still 
do things to work it out. Like, you know, still continuously be engaged in the You're relationship. Of, this is this is not all cases. Not all cases, but majority of cases when the woman loves the man more, he will leave like as a he will do this. He takes it for advantage. I'm telling you. I mean, this is like an old, old tale. And I'm, comment if you agree. It's either supposed to be equal amounts of love or the man loves the woman no, more just, in order for the relationship no, to work. It's supposed to be equal amounts no, of love. Period. Period. No, it should Period. be. Like, or the it. man loves no. the woman more for, in order for the. Y'all love each other. Listen, equally. comment. Y'all know what I'm talking Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, and guess comment what, below. And guess what's going to comment below? Every single one of y'all are going to be women. <laughs> that comments below. What about the men? The men are going to speak the opposite direction. So you're speaking from experience. No, the men are not going to speak in the opposite direction. Maurice, please. This is something, this is an old tale. This is no what- No man is going to say, my, I, I should love my wife more only. My wife should love me a man is, much. Okay, a man is not necessarily going to say that. However, what, what women are told and taught, like majority of my friends tell me this all the time. They are literally told and taught your really? husband, your man should love you more. You've been more. in the relationship the longest out of all your friends. Yeah, but I'm talking about from their like moms and grandmas or whatever. Your man should love you more. Your man should be obsessed with you. Your man should literally like value the ground that you walk on. That's what I'm talking about. Right. Okay, I hear where you're going on that. And that he should worship the earth and, and walk on and all that. Yeah, worship the, the ground that you walk time, on. Your wife should also feel the same way for you. She should make sure you... Want to eat and when, even when doesn't like you're hungry. That like, is a, oh, it's, okay. it's the same yes, equivalent, she, though. She it's the same equivalent. She, she, of course, this is the same equivalent. Would be doing that, but there are situations Sorry. where the man is more obsessed and loves the woman more, and it helps to lead to healthy, long relationships. I'm it's either sure. equal I'm sure there or are man relationships out there where I guess it's the opposite direction. But with the we're man, gonna say with here the, the best relationship is where you guys love each other equally. That's the best. <laughs> That's what we're gonna leave this at. Continue. I will. The, <laughs> the best part of all of this was he always reciprocated and made me feel like the most loved and appreciated girl in the world. <laughs> you didn't see that part come in. Basically, but clearly he didn't love her more. I went from being anxious <laughs> and feeling lost to feeling like I found my purpose in life. In the first two years. He felt like my home. Well, he finally became successful. Hmm. More successful than he imagined. Wow. He started nearly making six figures a month. What's the business? Who is this dude? Let me get his number. Yeah, let me get his number. My cousin. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, he went from Home Depot and now he made nah, it. Yeah. yeah. He started nearly six figures. He started nearly six figures a month. <clears> and <throat> since then he just started becoming more distant. It's practically passive income. But it's like right after he gained all the free time in the world. Since he doesn't have to work anymore, he has less time for me. Right. Because, now, that's a little weird. I ain't gonna lie. Right, right. And you know what the thing is? <clears throat> he doesn't want a woman that was down for him when he was down and out. He's like, oh, you were able to be with me when yeah. I had nothing. Now I want this a woman. Might, this might be one of those moments. Yeah. Yeah. But some men are different. Some men will respect a woman that are with, that are with them when they're, you know, not yeah. as successful as they could be. But men like this, they're the type of guys that look at a woman like, oh my god, like you I mean, he were might, with me when he I might feel as though he can like. Be level like up. a supermodel yeah, or something he, like that compared to what he got. We don't even know what both of these guys look like or anything about yeah, that. Yeah, he feels like play he, a role. It's, yeah, it's, he can level that up. Could play a role. It started by him wanting to go on all these trips together all the time. They were always amazing and I had fun, but I'm not the rich one and still had to work and don't have infinite vacation days, so I can't always go. So he would go on frequent trips with friends for weeks at a time. That's also the problem. Yeah. When you're in a relationship and you and your partner's schedules can't Don't match up. mix correctly. That's a problem. Yeah, like if I'm a person that's always trying to travel and go do something and my lifestyle is doing something consistently, but yours is not, or you just can't, you're either going to hold that individual back or they're going to go do what they're trying to do. And that's what looked like it happened in this situation. That's the problem. Yeah, unfortunately. He built up. He became a new person overall. Communication on his end started becoming more and more minimal. His social circle started growing bigger and bigger until eventually last week he doesn't need me anymore. Damn. 
That's sad. Just don't. How did that work? Our lives are on two different paths, and he says we aren't compatible anymore. This whole time, the dream and the purpose I found in my life, that glimmering happiness in his eyes, now I pray for him to have, ended up making us incompatible, huh? I lost Beth, the best friend and the biggest supporter I ever had, who I made my entire life and the reason That's to live. That's the problem. Don't be making other people that your yeah, entire you life the reason that. to live. You have to make yourself That's your entire you life. depressed. And the reason to live, you need to be so in love with yourself that when things like this happen, you cry for like a day or two, and then you look yourself in the mirror and you're like, "What the what the fuck was I crying about?" You tell and move on. You tell them, girl. Never put a man ahead of you. Yeah. Never. What she? And then men too, like never, never put your significant other ahead of you. You need to always make sure that you are good, that you are mentally, physically, mm -hmm. emotionally everything good. And then you can give your love to somebody else. If you don't love yourself, how can you love somebody else? That's not hey, possible. I say shit. Hey, hey. I got us. You see this? You, you hear this? Okay. I hope you do. Uh -huh. Shit. It's sad, but girl, well, be serious. And it, I lost my purpose in life and the only person in the world who would comfort me there isn't there anymore. I feel dumb, I feel betrayed, I feel alone, I feel lost. I will never, ever, ever in my life be able to love like that again. That's I gave sad. him the purest, most vulnerable love I could give him. And no. he didn't even want it. Mm. I don't even want to wake up in the morning. I just uh, want my best friend back. Uh, Why could he do this to me? Uh, Where do I go from here, guys? Uh, that's the end of it? Yeah, that's uh, deep. That's deep. Oh my God. Nah, I feel bad for sure. I feel bad for her too. And this is, this is sad. She loved him. Yeah, she loved him. But you also, like I said before, you have to love yourself so much that when things like this happen, you're able to bounce back and realize that you are still the prize. Yeah, I think it's a situation where it's like, you gotta love them, but not let them be you. So she, he was like her character that was a part of her and was her happiness. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't let someone else be yeah. your happiness. Yeah, you shouldn't let somebody else be a happiness. This is a situation where you should love yourself so much that you're going to give yourself to somebody. But when you realize that isn't working out, you got to take that back because you love yourself more to not be damaged. Mm -hmm. That's the way that got to go. Yeah, that was sad. Yeah, well, girl, I wish you nothing but the best. Go start you a business. Yeah, how about that? Oh, you're going to start you a business, a better business. You're going to make in $200,000. If someone decides that they don't want to be with you anymore, that's fine. That's fine. Because when you see me blow up and you see me happy, successful, healthy, wealthy, and winning, then you're going to want to be a piece of my life. And that's not going to happen anymore. That's actually been my mantra throughout my whole entire life. If anybody has ever pissed me off, I decide that... I'm going to take, you know, the hurt and the pain that I felt from that and, and channel that into me trying to be successful. That's like what I've done my whole entire life is literally take anything that anybody's done to me, bottle it up, think about it and think about, oh, I can't wait until two, five, ten years from now. And they're seeing me be successful without them. Mm -hmm. And that's what I live by. And I'll continue continuously live by that. I hear you on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else for today's topic? Well, I mean, just to take it back to what we were like originally talking about, like building a man. I mean, it's overall, it all depends on your situation. It depends on your situation. It depends on the man. It depends on the woman. The man depends on the woman. It really is just something that you really can say can work out or can't work out. Yeah. Like my advice would honestly be not to, unless you can really see the true heart in this person and like, me and Marie started, I could really see the true heart in him. Yeah. And that's why, like, we built this together where I knew that once we got to a certain point, he wasn't going to, like, be like, oh, you helped me get here and now I'm out. Yeah, she, she has some, I guess you'll say, reasons of knowing who I really was internally compared to what it looked like I was that's why I, like you saw the potential i guess like yeah you knew i was a good person you saw that you know my friends and stuff like that like your cousin and stuff yeah they thought Even, i was a great person no they actually but, yeah, told her, me her not to get told, with yeah. marie her cousin actually told her like he's don't like, do that. He's like you don't want that but there, there there's reasons for that yes there are reasons there's for reasons that. for that <laughs>
That's so a, he actually didn't get a good like vouch. Nah, but even the, even the reasons <laughs> for that, you were there for some of those reasons. <laughs> yeah, but and were, it still wasn't good. It wasn't. It good. wasn't good, but you was able to make your own decision. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Let's what? just say Marissa's like thug. I wasn't. I fell in love with a thug. Nah, whatever, yo. I, 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 I just had to get it how I live when I was. Coming I like the low all. cut pieces with a deep wave. I, I had the wave. <laughs> I had the ways. I did have he the ways. He was a soldier. <laughs> I was a soldier. I guess I was a soldier. With street credibility and the status saying hood. I ain't checking. That's Maurice. I ain't checking for me. Better be street if he looking at me. I need a soldier. That ain't scared to stand up for me. Gotta carry big things if you know what I mean. She's finished. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> All right, y'all, comment below any questions, any thoughts. Um, yeah. What do you guys want to see from our upcoming videos? Let us know. All right, bye. Well, listen to me. If y'all have any stories y'all want to share, yeah. send that shit. And you want us to talk about it, let us know. Advice. We're excited to continue growing this podcast this, world this with you guys. Yes. All right. Love you guys. Love you guys.